Isaac was King Olaf's greatest advisor and friend. Few knew that just a few months before, Isaac had just been a simple shepherd. But King Olaf was so struck by Isaac's wisdom and faithfulness that he had promoted him to the highest position in his court, that of vice regent. One of Isaac's jobs every month was to go through the entire kingdom and count all the precious goods that were there. He, he went into where the, the royal treasuries, where all the gold and jewels were kept and recorded what was in there. And then he went through every room of the castle to, to record all the different furnishings that were there, anything that was of value. He even had access to the king's very own apartment where he lived. Every month he would report to the king all of these things, with one exception. With one exception, in, in the, the uttermost, upmost room of the West Tower, there's a room that no one had been in except Isaac. Isaac was the only one who had a key to the room. And, and nobody knew what was in there. There were other advisors that the king had in the kingdom, people that had been around some long, most of them longer than Isaac. And many of them were jealous of Isaac's rapid rise to fame. They're jealous of the close relationship that he had with the king. And they secretly hoped that he could be removed from his position, even disgraced. They thought it was such a dishonor that a simple shepherd should have such a high position, especially a position over them who were trained. And so it wasn't a surprise that they began to notice Isaac's daily trips to this secret room. And they started to wonder among themselves, what is in that room? And one of the older advisors said as they met together, you know, no one has a key except Isaac. Another advisor said, nobody's ever seen what's inside that room. Another advisor said, I'll bet you he's stealing gold and storing it in there. Gradually their hearts were darkened. Eventually to the point where they went to the king and came to King Olaf and said, it grieves us, dear King Olaf, to have to bring you news of potential betrayal. It appears as though Isaac has not been as faithful as maybe you presumed. And they explained to the king how there was this room that nobody had ever been in and of which there was no accounting for what was in the room. And they explained to the king that it's probably where Isaac was stealing and storing gold. And the king, with a little bit of a smirk, said, well, Isaac has never told me of what's in this room. So I give you permission to go and to search the room. And whatever you find will be yours to keep. Well, the advisors thanked the king and assured the king that this was the best decision and how grieved they were that it should come to this as they backed slowly out of the room and then tore up the stairs to this room, to this utmost tower. And as they got to the room, they broke the iron hinges so they could knock the door down. As they burst into the room looking for the treasure, they were completely confounded. Because there was nothing in there but an old sheepskin jacket and a pair of tattered old boots. He's hidden the treasure in the walls, said one of the advisors. And so right away they began tearing at the walls and tearing at the ceiling, digging, 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 looking for this hidden treasure that they were certain was there. And after about an hour of destruction, they were standing there sweating and completely confused because they hadn't found a thing. And suddenly King Olaf entered the room, followed by Isaac. And King Olaf said, a little sarcastically, well, you must all be very wealthy by now. Show me this treasure, this hoard of treasure that you have found. The advisor said, King Olaf, we are sorry. We have found nothing but this old jacket and an old dirty pair of boots. The king turned to Isaac and said, well, this certainly is a strange treasure, you hoard, Isaac. How about you explain to the court here why 
you are storing these treasures. And Isaac began, said, before you elevated me to this position of vice regent, I had nothing. All I have, all that I am, is because of what you have given me. Without you, O king, what would I be? Nothing but a dirty shepherd, one of the advisors sneered. Isaac agreed, exactly. A shepherd who wears an old sheepskin coat and tattered old boots. He said, I come here once, sometimes even twice a day, to come and to look at these things and to remember. To remember who I was. To remember where I came from. And to again reflect on how good you have been to me, O okay. king. And with that, Isaac bowed to the king and said, I thank you for the kindness and the trust that you have shown me. The king, putting his hand on Isaac's shoulder, said, and I thank you, Isaac, for humbly and faithfully serving me. These servants here will put this room back in order, and they will put your items back where they found them, this old sheepskin jacket and these old boots. He said, these items are of more value to me than much gold. Isaac served many years in King Olaf's court, faithfully, humbly, and eventually when Isaac passed away, his sheepskin coat and his tattered old boots were put into the royal treasury where they were kept with the king's jewels and other treasures. <laughs>